The Edo State Government has expressed worry over the increasing death toll being recorded from COVID-19 infections in the state. Governor Godwin Obasaki, in a recent statewide broadcast, urged residents to adhere to strict COVID-19 prevention protocols and avoid mass gatherings, saying the pandemic is taking its toll on the elderly in the state. COVID-19 testing in Edo State is almost twice the national average. This explains why the number of confirmed cases, which is now 2,200, is one of the highest in the country. Sadly, we have also one of the highest death rates from COVID-19 in Nigeria. Unfortunately, 75% of those who have died from COVID-19 in Edo are older citizens. This mortality rate is of serious concern to the state government because many of these deaths could have been prevented if citizens adhered to COVID-19 prevention regulations. I am therefore urging everyone to observe the guidelines to prevent the spread of coronavirus, such as regular washing of hands under running water, use of alcohol-based sanitizer, and avoiding gatherings with large number of persons. The governor assured residents that his administration will not fail in its obligations to workers and pensioners and will continue to focus on infrastructural development of the state. Because of the economic and financial impact of the coronavirus pandemic, we've had to reduce our 2020 budget by 30% from 179 billion earlier proposed to 128.8 billion. Despite the reduction in the budget, we will continue to meet our statutory obligations to workers and pensioners and sustain critical sectors of the economy. Those spending on critical projects may reduce. We hope to continue to invest in critical infrastructure as part of our plans to develop a diversified and competitive post-COVID economy, which will serve our people and improve their livelihoods.